just found a place to sit down here for a minute, but I wanted to give you guys a heads up. We were on our way to go on to the safari ride and go walk through the gorilla trek, I think mm -hmm. is what it's called. Go see the animals. Pretty much. But I wanted to say that unfortunately, I learned something new today. They actually close at sunset. I did not know that here at Animal Kingdom. So if that is something you guys are wanting to do, make sure you do it before sunset because it does close then. So yeah, it's like 6 p.m. right now. They're closed already. Yeah. The park's open until 7. So, um, and daylight mm -hmm. savings is next weekend, so November 5th, 6th. So, I mean, it's going to be closed by like 5, 4.30 p.m. as, as the daylight gets yeah. shorter. As the, as the days get shorter. So, yeah. So anyway, just, we just found a spot to just sit down here and chat with you a little bit. Yeah, and hopefully you guys can hear us good because there is a fan, but it's just kind of like a nice private place over here to sit. So hopefully you guys can hear us really good. But I did want to talk about the Disney reservation system. It was something that I mentioned at the beginning of this video. But I wanted to talk to you guys about it because I love Disney. I want to first say that because I'm, I do. I love Disney. Oh yeah, Disney, we've okay? been annual pass holders for years. Yeah, so I love it, okay? But, so today we were going to go to Magic Kingdom and I couldn't get a reservation. And we hold the top annual pass, um, which is the Incredi Pass. So it means like we are supposed to have no blackout dates, mm -hmm. okay? And um, I couldn't get a pass for uh, Magic Kingdom today. A reservation. Or a reservation, yeah, uh -huh. thank you. And it's just really frustrating because um, when you do have a top annual pass, and I'm sure some of you can relate to those of you who have also have annual passes, and when you can't get a pass on a random Thursday in October, mm -hmm. it's frustrating. And um, Not to mention, we do pay quite a bit of money for that level of pass. Yeah, like they're expensive. Because we want and, to be able to come when it's convenient for us. Yeah, exactly. And so I noticed today, I, I took a screenshot of it so I would know exactly what I'm referencing here. But Bob Shapek, who is the CEO of Disney, Disney World, Disney, Disney Parks. Disney Parks, yeah. yeah. Um, he made a statement claiming that Disney Park Pass reservation system guarantees a great experience. I could not disagree with this more because I feel like it does not guarantee a great experience mm -hmm. when you can't get... If you can't even get a reservation, that's just no experience. You yeah. Cannot, it's an awful experience because you can't even go. Yeah, exactly. So, um, and he made this comment where he said like, well, I want people who are coming from Seattle on vacation for three to four days to Disney that on Christmas Day they can get into the parks and they don't have to be worried about turning being turned away. I just have to say that like I like am always like going around the holidays. I have never once been turned away at Disney um, prior to the res park reservation system being in place. I've never once been turned away. I've always been able to get in. And if anything- They very rarely reach capacity. Very rarely, mm -hmm. okay? And so odds are typically that if someone came on Christmas day at 10 in the morning, you would be able to get into the parks. Um, so I personally, I don't think it's a great experience. And if you guys have annual passes or any, like if you've dealt with any of this, like I would love to like read your comments down below of what you think about it. Um, but I obviously like, I'm, I'm not coming at Disney. I'm not trying to be like hostile or anything, but like I love Disney. I truly do. Okay. Like it's, it's my happy place. Yeah. But, it's just a bummer that we can go yeah. to Magic Kingdom today. That yeah. was like, we were kind of looking forward to it and maybe we should have like, planned further in advance but to get a reservation think? but we shouldn't have to we never have had to before no and i know they've said that the park reservations are here to stay but my theory is that yes yeah, since honey. they've reopened they have not had the st enough staff mm -hmm. to manage the crowd levels yeah so they're controlling the crowd levels uh to create a better guest experience yeah. because they just don't do not have the uh, enough cast members working in That's the parks yet think. to manage those level of crowds yeah and so, i would say oh go ahead we're gonna uh, just you know i wonder if in you know in time as they get you know hire more people and mm -hmm. more um international and cp college program employees cast members come back that maybe they it will go away eventually yeah i, I don't hope, know what I do you guys so. think yeah let us know but i really hope it does and i just wanted to make one last statement about it but i think another thing that a lot of people can also relate to which is frustrating about the reservation system is that it bothers me that today if right now i'm at animal kingdom okay and you can park hop after 2 p.m it bothers me that right now, like I came to Animal Kingdom, but now I could park hop over to Magic Kingdom and I could get in. But it's like, why do I have to do that 
it's not yeah, necessary. It's an inconvenience to have to drive to another park, you know, go yeah. and park your car, walk in just to badge in with your magic band and turn yeah. around and then drive to the other park. Yeah. They're going to let you in either way. Wait, yeah. So why is it necessary? So it's not. It's is not. the answer. Yeah. So that's my little complaint, but uh but I don't know, but I, I really would be really curious to hear what you guys have, have to say about it, what you think about the reservation system. Have you used the reservation system? Have you been to Disney since it opened back up? Do you have plans to come to Disney? I'd really be curious to start a conversation about that because I'd love to hear what other people think about it, you know? Mm -hmm. um, also, so, yeah, uh, I did also read in the news that there is a lawsuit against Disney yes. uh, for um, annual pass holders um, that, you know, like us, they have the Incredipass, which is not supposed to limit our ability to come to the parks at any time. Yeah. And we are being limited. Yeah. So, uh, you know, I don't know if the lawsuit has a leg to stand on or not, but um, yeah. it just goes to show you, though, that annual pass holders are not happy with yeah, the new reservation they're frustrated. system. Yeah, I agree, honey. <laughs> yeah. So anyways, though, guys, that's our little rant. But um, I think we'll just go ahead and maybe show you like a few little clips around Animal Kingdom. I don't want this video to be too long and I'm looking at the time and I've already been talking for like six minutes. But let's just go ahead and maybe show some clips of Animal Kingdom as we kind of like walk our way through and walk out of here. Um, maybe do Expedition Everest? No, 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 no. <laughs> not doing that, seriously. All right, maybe not but, today. Um, yeah, not today. But. We will walk around and show you some clips and then we'll probably go ahead and finish the video. But stay tuned for some fun animal yeah, clips. Yeah, thanks for listening to yeah. us rant a little bit. <laughs> yeah, thanks. <laughs>